strategy is a complicated thing. I think every company has a strategy. Getting everybody onto the same page about what the company's strategy is and executing it is where the challenge lies. It's pretty amazing how many organizations think they're doing strategy well. Um, and if you have conversations with senior executives, you quickly realize that they actually think of it in very different terms. They don't they don't mean the same thing when they use the term and they don't they're not on the same page about what the corporate strategy actually is. If that's the case, it, it's going to be very difficult for a company to actually successfully integrate, execute a strategy in any kind of aligned way, and the course very much centers on those kinds of issues. The course is designed to be a foundational course in corporate and competitive strategy with a twist that centers on innovation and business model. Think of it as a Silicon Valley version of a strategy course where you'll get the fundamentals that you would get if you took a similar course in other places, but because of the geography and because of the interests of many folks around here and because of my own interests, the course is tilted towards technology, innovation, entrepreneurship, business models kind of a focus. We try to develop for the individual participants an, an understanding of strategy in which they see their role in executing the corporate strategy much, much more clearly. It's often the case in, in corporate settings where you sort of say, okay, if I'm not um, the head of strategy, the CEO of the company, the president of the company, um, what is my role in the strategy process at the company? And, and we very much push the message that it's crucial in strategy that large chunks of the organization actually understands corporate strategy and understands their role in executing it. Participants get a set of frameworks that they can use to think about how one formulates a strategy, how one implements a strategy, what the key considerations are, what the differences are between competitive and corporate level strategy, what the organizational implications of a strategy are. So it's a pretty holistic picture of, of what strategy is um, with an emphasis maybe on the individual's role in executing a strategy. Uh, the Haas School has a set of defining principles which we try to abide by and when I think about the defining principles of the school in terms of a strategist, the one that I often come back to is beyond yourself. The reason that I think that's so important is for most organizations that are very, very effective at implementing strategies have an ability to override an individual's self-interest or the self-interests that are dictated by the role to create a greater good. Much of strategy is about getting everybody to pull an oar in the same direction to point an organization towards an objective. Sometimes that happens within the natural sort of structures and leadership and incentive systems that exist in the companies, but very many times, particularly at the corporate level, to execute a strategy well involves identifying with the organization, finding a higher purpose in it, believing in it, and working beyond yourself toward a greater good.